The Myanmar military has been formally accused of war crimes before Philippines' Department of Justice in Manila in an unprecedented case that seeks to invoke universal jurisdiction. CNA's Berna Bernal with more. Hands clasped in prayer, but not for themselves. This community of mostly Filipinos are in a discreet location in Metro Manila, gathered to pray for their Christian brothers and sisters who are a religious minority in the predominantly Buddhist nation of Myanmar. Following a coup in February 2021 that saw democratically elected leaders ousted and the Myanmar military junta taking back control of power, Violence escalated in the landlocked country. In September that year, locals said houses in the village of Thantlang in the state of Chin, Myanmar's only Christian majority state, were torched, allegedly put on fire by the junta. Almost all Thantlang villagers fled and sought refuge in the nearby northeast Indian state of Mizoram. At the Philippines Department of Justice on Wednesday morning, natives of Thantlang village filed a criminal complaint for war crimes they alleged to be committed by the Myanmar army. The crimes included the killing of a pastor, two church elders, and what they claim is the systematic burning down of civilian houses in their village. Zengral Tu's father was a Baptist church elder who was shot to death when he was on the way to Thantlang to deliver medicines after the village endured mass arson. My father and his friend were murdered. Their Filipino lawyers are arguing that the Philippines can try these cases based on the country's International Humanitarian Act, which makes international customary and conventional law applicable as a guide to local courts. A universal jurisdiction means that any state can prosecute a, a crime. Now, it is not an ordinary crime. It's, it's considered a crime against, human, against uh, the entire international community. But what we actually brought uh, to the attention of the DOJ are war crimes, targeting of civilians, mutilation, targeting of civilian objects. Uh, so houses of civilians are being burned or burned down, churches were burned down. Lawyer Michael Chu, an international humanitarian law expert from the University of the Philippines, says the alleged war crimes may be covered by universal jurisdiction under the said law if they were perpetrated in the Philippines or against Filipinos. But he adds, the same law makes international customary law applicable, so it may be interpreted to mean a Philippine trial is indeed possible, whatever the nationality of the perpetrator. Salai Ling is a native of Thantlang village. He's been documenting the Myanmar military's abuses for a quarter of a century now. It so happens that in uh, the Philippines has this legal tradition where uh, this type of um, universal jurisdiction cases have been uh, brought forward and prosecuted. Justice is something that we need to keep fighting for. Uh, even in the darkest of times, at the end of the day, uh, you have to have hope. But woes hound the Philippines' justice system. Court dockets are clogged. Only 2% of criminal cases as of 2019 were resolved within the prescribed duration. Cases against the Myanmar army have been filed in Indonesia, Turkey and the United Kingdom. But trials in the Philippines are notoriously slow. So even if the Justice Department acknowledges this war crimes complaint, the question remains, is the Philippines equipped to be a judicial refuge for citizens of an ASEAN neighbor? Buena Bernal, CNA, Manila.